So what can Moodle do for you and your students here at EOSmith? I'd like to share with you uh, a few of the powerful features that Moodle offers. Just mouse over resources here and click on Moodle. Here's our Moodle website. You can see here at the top little advertisement for Mr. Swanson and I, uh, the courses that we're running. If you'd like to get involved with running online courses in the future, or, um, please let us know. Uh, we're interested in expanding that program. And over here are some some uh, things to help get you started with uh, setting up Moodle courses. I'd like to start here by showing you my chemistry course. This is the course web page on the Moodle site. And as you scroll down the page here, you'll see that um, you'll see a couple things. First, at the top, you'll see some news. And this is a basically a forum. Whenever I post to this, uh, the students will automatically get emails. Uh, you'll see upcoming events. Any assignments that I put up here with due dates are automatically posted here as upcoming events. And you can see I've got it arranged chronologically. You could arrange it topically also all sorts of resources posted here. Um, what I've started doing is putting any worksheets that we do in class with their answer keys up here in this in these folders like this. Also class notes are posted in folders. And then for homework, here's what they do for homework now. Uh, this is part of the so-called flipped classroom approach. What we try to do is, is move the content delivery outside of the classroom into the homework. So instead of always lecturing, during class, what I'll try to do is put the put lectures into the homework. So these are, of course, not me talking here, but uh, videos with lectures or other demonstrations that illustrate the, the things that I'm trying to to teach. And then the students have to watch those. Now these are fairly short. This is probably some total of about 10 minutes here. And then they have to do a little quiz. So let's let me show you the quiz here that they took. They'll take a little quiz just to make sure that they watch the, the videos and they'll put the answers in here and then it scores them automatically. And they can see immediate feedback too. I'll just throw some numbers in here so you can see what that looks like. Now you may want them to see immediate feedback. You may want it to wait. But in this case, they see that they got it wrong. They see the correct answer. They even see the correct work here if you want to give them a lot of feedback about um, how it should have been done. And of course, you can do whole tests like this. Well, let me show you their most recent test. It was taken online in the computer lab. Of course, um, there is the potential for taking online tests in class as well, as I'll show you with, with the biology uh, class next. So here's their chemistry test. You can see there's just some multiple choice here. There's a whole mixture of questions. And I've got it set up so that it pulls up one question at a time. And it selects the question randomly from the test so that students who are sitting next to each other in the computer lab won't likely have the same question on their screen at the same time. I just want to give you a kind of a feeling for the different types of questions that are on here. So. I'll click through, and again, it's pulling them up randomly, so I'm not sure where the questions that I want are. Okay, here's an interesting question type. It's a drag and drop, so the student has to drag up the correct answers into here so that the, it would give them the right result. So this is one way to have to make sure that they know how to do the calculations. All right, here's another type of calculation question which there's several answers within one question. Another calculation question. Let's uh I'm going to do this one so that you can see what partial credit looks like, because this particular question type that I used here will give partial credit.
and again this one will show uh, partial credit as well so let's put something in for this Also, um, some written questions too that that uh, can be manually graded. So in this case, this is this is as an essay question, and you can see there's a lot of stuff they can do here. They can even use subscripts, superscripts. They can change the font. They can insert equations. This is a little equation editor, kind of like Microsoft Equation Editor. They can insert pictures, media, and this this type of question is manually graded. So I have to go in and look at it and give it a score. I'm going to finish the attempt so we can see what this looks like. <laughs> All right, and now I'm getting instant feedback. Again, you can change the settings so the students won't see this feedback right after they do it. I just wanted to show you how the scoring works here. You can see I only got partial credit on this one because I didn't finish the question. So I got part of the credit. That's what the yellow means there. I got 3.27 out of 6 points. On this one, the correct answer is 148.6, and yet I still got partial credit, 3 out of 6. How did that happen? Let me quick, click on the question, and you can see what this, what's going on here. This question is put in with variables in the question text. Now, you didn't see these variables. You saw numbers. What Moodle's doing is randomly selecting numbers to put in as these variables. And then as the answer, I put in an equation with those variables in it. So this is the correct equation, which would give you the right answer. That gives 100% credit if they're within 0.1, a tenth of a unit. Here I put in the same equation, but I left off a final uh, factor of 1,000 that they were supposed to use and so I took off a fifth of the credit and then in this one this is the correct equation but they were a little sloppier with their their significant figures here so I gave them a little bit more tolerance took off 10 percent in this one I took off the second half of the equation and gave 50 percent credit same thing here I took off the first half of the equation gave 50 percent credit this is actually the way that I did the calculation when I just tr when I just did the preview and that's why I got half credit so there's there's a lot of flexibility here uh, with this question type just want to show you a couple other question types and for that I'm gonna have to go to my biology class so their Darwin quiz that they just recently took. Just a quick nine question quiz. Now they took this in class, all of them in class. Uh, most of them took it on their smartphones. Some of them took it on, on uh, the five Google Chromebooks that I've gotten in here. Um, I have an extra computer in here also, but most of them took it on their smartphones. Now these are written questions that are automatically graded. some answers in here. So um, these questions are called pattern match questions. And let me just show you one more. I think I've got another one on here that we can play with. I'm going to click finish attempt here because I want to show you how it scores these. These are actually written answers that are that are automatically scored according to patterns of words that they put in. It gave me credit for that one. Now you can see here I got partial credit for the next one. Let's see what's going on there. 
I wrote the time it takes for half of something to go away. Now let's look at what the answer says. The answer it was looking for is right here. Now this looks like kind of a confusing code, but it's really not bad. Match, it's going to be matching the, the following pattern. M means it allows misspelling. W means it allows extra words. For full credit, I'm looking for something about the time or the years or how long. And then next, half or 50% of a radioactive sample, radioactive element, a sample, atoms, isotope, material, substance. So I'm giving words that I would accept in that position. And then finally, um, it's, it's how long it takes for these things to decay or disappear or disintegrate or be depleted or break apart or something like that. And so I'm, I'm, I have to figure out beforehand what kinds of words are the keywords I'm looking for and in what pattern and what order. And and then I can give full credit for that. I give half credit if they only talked about the time for half of something, which is what I did. And then uh, various kind of permutations of that I can, I can offer extra, uh, partial credit for. So for example, in this last question here, number nine, the fossils and the, the fossils was correct. I misspelled homologous. Let's see if it gave me... No, it looks like it didn't give me credit for that. That was too bad. It should have said homologous. And genetics was not one of the options, so um, I only got one out of three points here for that one. The last thing I want to show you before I, I wrap this up here is the rubric capabilities of this, of Moodle. Moodle is also really cool for grading uh, assignments that the students upload. So, for example, in this case, um, the students add a submission here. So here's their assignment, and when they, they do a Word document or something, and then they just click this, and they can upload the Word document to the website. I can then go on there, and uh, I can download it and read it. And I can also set up a rubric by which I will, or according to which I will grade it. So let me just show you the rubric for this assignment. Now this is a rubric that I set up and so you can add lines here and you can add criteria and you can change customize the points and everything um, and then when you go through what you'll do is just click on this now this is the editing screen but when I pull it up in the grading mode I'll click on this and it will highlight that it will highlight this and it will automatically transfer the correct number of points into the gradebook here on Moodle so that's really powerful and what you can do with rubrics is you can copy them into other assignments you can you can modify them slightly for different assignments and uh, there's so that is what Moodle can do for you just a few of the things there's lots more in there too it's very flexible very powerful if you're interested in learning more uh, please contact either me or Mr. Swanson and uh, also let us know if you might be interested in in learning some maybe over the summer, either online or on-site here, maybe having some training on Moodle and uh, getting some courses set up. So thanks for listening.